Hey what is up guys, Andy here with a YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can speed up your Windows 10 laptop or PC completely for free. Sega. Through the course of this video, I will be showing you 8 different ways you can speed your computer up and hopefully afterwards you will notice an exponential increase in the speed of your computer. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so the first step is you want to go to your desktop and you want to go to the windows bar in the bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and type in disk cleanup and it should come up, it comes with Windows 10 and along with all the Windows operating systems. So you wanna go ahead and click on it. And once it comes up, you wanna select your hard drive that you use. Now I use S use my SSD, so I'm gonna use that and select it, but um, go ahead and click OK. And what it's gonna do is gonna it's gonna calculate everything on my computer that I just don't need or things that are just like clogging up my computer that are just unnecessary. It collects all that and tells me what exactly I can delete. So once it's done, um, it's going to come up with a box here and it's going to say disk cleanup for SSD. And it tells me I have 3.32 gigabytes of space that I can clean up, of free space on my SSD. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select everything that I just don't need. I mean everything here is not something that I, I mean it's irrelevant. As you can see here from my recycle bin I actually have 3.18 gigabytes of stuff on my freaking trash that I just if obviously obviously if it's in my trash I don't need it and so I'm gonna select everything and go ahead and once I'm just gonna click OK and click delete files it's not gonna delete anything you're gonna need it's just gonna clean it up it's temporary file stuff that's just I mean obviously it's just clean up and if Windows they don't want to delete stuff that you know if you don't, if you obviously need it and it's important then they're not gonna delete it so once it's done, it's just going to disappear and you're completely done. It's already cleaned it up, there's nothing else you have to do, and that's it. It was free, easy, simple, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the next step. Now you want to go into your Windows and go ahead and type in, go ahead and click on the Windows thing and type in defrag. And it's going to open up the defragment and optimize drives um, thing. Now what I use is smart defrag, <coughs> smart defrag, excuse me, but um, Windows does come with a defrag option so you can go ahead and use it, it's just as fine and you want to select the hard drive that you want to use. Now SSDs don't need to be uh, frag defrag defragged because they are magnetized and they don't need defragmentation <clears throat> but your other kind of hard drives including hybrid and regular hard drives they need defragged and if you haven't in a while then go ahead and do this. Select on, the, so select on your hard drive and go ahead and you can either click analyze but I'd rather click on optimize because optimize analyzes and it um, opt or optimizes it so it's just two for one so I just go ahead and click optimize and what it's going to do here is it's, it's going to go through several passes and it's going to analyze defrag and basically go through your entire hard drive and what defragging does is it recategorizes and organizes all of your files based on their importance so if you have a video game that you play all the time it's going to organize those files where they're easily to be able to access while that video game that you don't play all the time it's going to put those files somewhere that's going to take a little longer to access so it just basically organizes all your files in order of use and importance so if you obviously if you use something a lot then it's going to have that where it's organized where you can easily access it a lot faster so it's pretty pretty useful and I definitely recommend it using all the time um, once it you, mine's already been defragment on another software so it didn't take as long but if your hasn't been defragged in a long while then it's probably gonna take longer but um, once it's done completed um, defragging um, you're, you're done go ahead and go to the change settings and I recommend you um, change it where it's weekly so it does it automatically optimize schedule it does it weekly and it'll greatly incre increase your computer speed all right, so the next step is um, power options. Now, what you want to do to go to this, we'll go ahead and get there, is you want to go to your control panel. So go ahead and click on the start, type in control. It'll be up at the top, best match. And it'll open up your control panel. If it's in this category like this, you want to go to the view by and go to large icons. And what you want to do is you want to go to the power options, the little battery with the green battery with the black charger. Click on that. And let me go ahead and explain what this is. Basically, most computers, whenever they're, uh, it says it's recommended to be on balance. Well, when it's on balanced, it limits the power to your graphics card, your CPU, and your hard drive, which is all 
essential parts to playing video games and rendering videos. So if you're doing rendering video, if you're rendering videos or playing like video games, you do not want it on balance. You want it on high performance. Mine is on Samsung high performance, as it says for my SSD. So it's on high performance as well, but it's just for Samsung. It's a, just to customize for my SSD. But if you don't have an SSD, you'll see a high performance. It should look something like the, it'll say show additional plan. Just click on this and click on high performance. It's just going to make the computer run a lot smoother and it, it greatly reduces the amount of lag, um, especially in CSGO. I saw like a 30 FPS increase just to test the difference and it was a big substantial, substantial increase. So um, be sure to change that in your power options because it is a must have for gaming and for rendering. Make sure it is on high performance. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the power options here. The next thing here is kind of an optional, well, kind of a diverse thing between what kind of graphic card you have. But if you go to your desktop and you right click, you will see your graphical um, settings here. Nothing down here. It should, if you're running on Intel integrated, it should something around here or NVIDIA be around here. Um, but AMD is what I use, so go ahead and click on there. And in here, you can basically change your, like, your gaming settings, my global gaming settings, and my overdrive right here. See, like, I have it overclocked right now. It tells me, like, my fan speed, uh, manual, all the megahertz that's overclocked, and my graphics, what I have it set to. So, if you want to customize what kind of uh, FPS, or, like, how, what kind of quality you want, and, like, how smooth you want it to run and all that, you want it, you'd be able to change it in these settings right here. But, I have this set just for my personal preferences for AMD, um, Radeon settings. So, if you have an AMD, then you can go ahead and copy my settings, because I found this the best here. But that's just, I'm just going to quickly skim over that one because it's kind of diverse between the type of graphics card you have. But um, the next thing we have here is your startup. So what you want to do here, go on your desktop, right click on your time in the bottom right hand corner here, go to task manager, and it's going to open up your task manager here. Now you want to go to the, at the top, you'll see performance, habit history, you want to go to startup, and basically what here is, is everything, everything that's enabled here is everything that's going to boot up and start running as soon as your windows is finished booting up so what you want to do here is you want to disable everything that you do not need as soon as your computer turns on so what I've done is I've disabled Wondershare Studio which is video editing uh, World Tanks game updater Skype that Skype's a big one that can greatly increase the amount of time it takes for your computer to start up so if you don't if you if you need Skype as soon as your computer turns on then enable but most people don't so disable it Google Installer, iTunes Helper, stuff like that. Those are just unnecessary. I don't need those unless I actually um, open that program. So what I have enabled is my Malware Fighter, something that optimizes my RAM for me, um, another cleaning software, and then my graphics and my audio because I need my graphics and my uh, sound, obviously. So those are the five things I've enabled. But that's it. that's it. Nothing else I really need as soon as my computer turns on. So basically you want to limit everything as minimum as possible on your startup. And you want to categorize it by high to low or high to low, everything that's high, you probably want to be disabled if you want a faster boot up. Um, because I actually helped a friend who had a five minute boot up and when I finished fixing all the startup and everything, it went down to like a minute and 30 seconds. So there's a lot of uh, things that your computer has to go through to start up that you often don't even need unless it's like right on the spot. So be sure to optimize these settings by disabling um, whatever things you do not need as soon as your computer turns on. And the next thing we have here is kind of a uh, optional thing, but what you want to do is you want to go to your control panel or you can search it up through the search bar but we're just going to go through whatever here is and it should already be on large icons and you want to go over to system right down here and on the left hand side you'll see the advanced system settings you want to click on that and it'll open up the the system properties and it'll already be on the advanced and you'll see the little performance box here you want to click on the settings in there and it's going to open up the performance options box and basically what you do here is if you don't care about animations in Windows 10, like all these, you know, like all these things moving here and like the minimize effect, how it, you know, it shrunk like that. Um, if you don't like any of that or you don't really care about any of that, um, what you want to do is you want to go to adjust for best performance. And what that does is, as you can see, it disables all of those. And what that actually does is it allows a lot more memory for your computer to be able to run on because the CPU doesn't have to... Um, deal with making those animations constantly it can just deal with whatever you want and actually it opens up more RAM and more CPU power for your computer for you to be able to do gaming and rendering so if you don't really care about what Windows 10 looks like go ahead and disable this for and put it to adjust for best performance um, because that's the best option for people that are having trouble with some kind of lag in, in uh, Windows 10 so if you don't really care go ahead and press adjust for best performance apply 